What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at booster cards I would like to see in eFootball 2025. Few people have been on to me as well so if I have missed your favorite player that you would like to see added as a booster, obviously boosters are slightly different than legend cards. They're from a specific moment or a specific match or a specific period in their career. So I definitely think we will get a lot of boosters for eFootball 2025, but let's crack on with some of the best ones I think could come. So firstly, we are going to take a look at Liverpool's Luis Suarez. Obviously, Suarez would be a fantastic booster as well. Obviously, he's still playing football as of right now, but I do feel that Suarez, I mean, I think with boosters, they need to use current cards. That's the big thing, I think, uh, with, with the boosters. They need to use the current cards and really double down on that. We also could get Frank Ribéry. Of course, Ribéry did come as a legend, but I feel like even though the two versions of Ribéry that we got were there and they're out there as of right now, I still feel like at a base version, you know, Ribéry when he was at his prime for Bayern Munich, and obviously Konami are partners with Bayern as well, so that would be quite interesting as well. And speaking of current players, right, just going to throw this out there, Valverde. Now, this is one that came in from a lot of people. I was surprised with this one. Obviously, he is a good player, but I thought there'd be other players in this that you would want you know such as some of the big names we're about to see and a little bit more creativity but it seems that Valverde a lot of people are just desperate for a card like this which is a bit of a strange one I mean let me know in the comments below who you'd like to see instead of Valverde or you know a, a part a, a, of Valverde because it is you know definitely one that could come I think down the line we also have Kylian Mbappe now this would be a 108 version Mbappe obviously I think they are going to go with the ratings uh, shout out to Cara for doing these mock-ups of the cards as well but yeah this Kylian Mbappe would be World Cup winning Mbappe and I mean uh, listen I think Mbappe was like such a good player um, and it's interesting to see how he's going through the Euros now as well but yeah this card would obviously be completely broken and it would be as close to I suppose uh, you know the best center forward in the game Speaking of centre forwards and the best version of any centre forward, I don't want any other Adriano as a booster card, lads, apart from Pez 6 Adriano. Now, if you didn't pay, play Pez 6, if you've jumped onto the eFootball franchise or the series a little bit later and you never played Pez 6 and you don't know the infamous and famous stories about this man Adriano could score from anywhere past the halfway line or midfield, unbelievable. Also, Haaland. Now, this Haaland, lads, I would definitely want his balance to be top drawer. That is kind of where I would go with it. I think that every card at the moment has been very poor for Haaland. He's practically non-usable for full games because of his balance is so tight unless you're playing, you know, unless you're playing really to him um, and he's still pretty decent. But yeah, a beastly card. Same for Odegaard, lads. I think that a lot of attacking midfielders, centre midfielders have been given a good, you know, run of it. I'm not even an Arsenal fan, but uh, Martin Odegaard would be a fantastic card, I think, to have as well. And again, you're keeping with the current players. You know, the other videos about legends that could come as well, it's a little bit more creative, but these are for current players or players that are still playing. Neymar for Barcelona. We still, in my opinion, haven't had the perfect version of Neymar that captures his speed, his tricks, his play style, his abilities, and his actual, you know, like core player ID. I still feel we haven't got the best, best, best version of him. I think the Santos version of him was amazing, but this would obviously be a little bit above that as well. And then, of course, we have William Saliba. This guy, lads, is an absolute tank. One of the best centre-backs in the world at the moment. And I definitely think there's a lot of Arsenal players on this and no Manchester United players, even though I'm a United fan. So I am trying to be unbiased, but I definitely feel that he's due a big-time card as well, especially when we've just recently got Van Dijk with 90 overall speed. Also, Lamine Yamal. I mean, this guy, lads, is lighting it up. One of the most exciting players in the world at the moment. Him and Nico Williams. Obviously, by the time this video is out, the Euros will have probably been into the later stages, if not over. Well, yeah, they'll be in the later stages. Um, but Spain were very, very good in the Euros, and they have been very, very good in the Euros. And this guy, lads, looks like the real deal, honestly. I, I haven't seen much of him, apart from a couple of games at Barca, but in the Euros, I've watched every minute of him. He's absolutely insane, a throwback winger, but also can mix it centrally as well. And this card needs to bang when it comes out. And then, of course, speaking of bangers of cards, we have two that we're going to end with. And listen, every video that has boosters, lads, is going to be Cristiano, and it's going to be Leo Messi, which we'll get to in a second. Now, there's been a lot of Messi boosters, but I definitely think this Cristiano Ronaldo in his prime record-breaker Ronaldo from Real Madrid, and also record-breaker Messi would also come in a double pack. I mean, if they brought out a double pack of these two, I know the UFL connection, I know that Ronaldo hasn't had any teamed featured cards, I get all that, but I definitely think that these two would be seriously, seriously popular cards. Let me know if I missed any, let me know your favorite ones that you would like to see in your wish list. 
Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll talk to you in a little bit.